Panel approval allows you to manage your organization's complex payment signing rules. They allow you to define different signing rules based on your payment threshold amounts. Each signing rule specifies who can approve the payment and the audit error approval is required. In this tutorial, we will give you a four step example to demonstrate how you can set up a panel in your own organization, where we will show you how to define rules, create a panel, assign it to a payment product and set up the authorization groups. Let's begin with step one. Our example company assigns its approvers into three signing groups, supervisors, finance managers, and senior executives. These will be set up as authorization groups A, B, and C respectively. Should you wish to have more groups, this is also possible. For the company's Australian domestic payments, they want to apply its signing rules based on payment threshold amounts of up to $100,000 and greater than $100,000. For payments up to $100,000, two approvers are required. The approvals can be obtained from any authorization group, but a final approver must be from Group B in order to maintain a release step. Next, for the payments greater than $100,000, three approvers are now required. However, for these payments, a specific order is required where the first approver is a supervisor from Group A, the second approver must be a finance manager, Group B, and the final approver must be a senior executive, Group C. With these two scenarios in mind, we can now create our panel. In the left hand navigation, select Administration, then click on Other Settings. Click on New Panel icon. To start, we can give the panel a name and a description and also select the payment currency applicable to the payments from the drop down menu. In this case, we will use AUD. Panels allow you to create rules depending on the particular account. For example, you may need differing threshold amounts and approver sequences for separate accounts. If you need to add rules to each account, select the selected button and click add to apply the appropriate account. Here, you can then add rules for each account by clicking the Add Rule icon. However, in this example, we will apply just one rule to all accounts. Next, we want to add our two threshold scenarios to make up our panel. In our first scenario, we want a payment threshold amount of up to $100,000 and to have two approvers from any group, remembering the last must be from Group B. Firstly, enter in the amount. Next, in the drop down menu, select Group A applying to supervisors. Then, select B from the next drop down menu, referring to our finance managers group which we want to be last in the approval order. Here, you will also notice that you can have up to six approvers in any one sequence. Under order, select Fixed Last from the drop down menu. Next, we want to add another sequence. This time, select Group C from the first drop down and then Group B again as the last approver and leave as fixed last for the order once more. We also need to add one final sequence where it's possible to have two approvers both from Group B. We can leave this as not fixed, seeing as the order does not matter here. Our first threshold is complete, with the result meaning that either a supervisor, a senior executive, or finance manager can be the first approver but it keeps the finance manager as the second and final approval. Now we need to add the approval sequence for the second threshold amount, payments greater than $100,000. Click on add new threshold. In this example, we will set a threshold of $1 million in order to have an upper limit. Please note, however, that you can have as many thresholds as you wish. It is also important to note that within your own organization, we encourage you to set an appropriate upper threshold that aligns with your company usage. Next, in the same manner as before, we need to create our approver flow. In this case, we want to have a fixed order where the finance manager must be second and a senior executive must have the final sign off. In the drop downs, enter A, B, and C and select the order as fixed. Once all details have been entered, 
we can click Submit to create our panel. After a moment, you will receive a confirmation message. Please note, however, that the result depends on the administration model your organisation is set up with, whereby the panel may require additional approval if you have a dual, tripled administration model. Our panel is now complete, but we need to assign it to a payment product. In the menu, click on Administration and go to Other Settings. In Division Settings, click on the division you would like to assign the panel to. Depending on your company's setup, you may only have one division or multiple. In this case, we will select Division 1. Once the page is loaded, click Edit on the control bar. We need to now allocate our panel to a product. In this case, we want AU Domestic. Please note, you can assign the panel to as many products as you wish. In the authorization matrix, you have three drop downs depending on your payment needs. Here we will leave payment purpose as all. Next, in the drop down menu under authorization model, select panel then select the recently created panel from the list. The final step is to click save from the control bar and once again you will receive a confirmation message where again you may need additional approval. The final step is to assign our users to the authorization groups A, B and C. In the left hand navigation, click administration but this time go to user management right click on the required approver, for example a senior executive, in the list and click edit. Scroll down to authorization group, then simply select the appropriate group from the drop down list. Here we will select group C for senior executive. It is also important to note that the user can only be assigned to one group. Once done, click save and you will receive a confirmation message. Repeat these steps for all approvers required to be assigned to authorization groups. Once all your users are assigned to their groups, your authorization panel is complete and ready to go.